Hello doll lovers, it's Ruby Red's World of Dolls and welcome back. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope that all is well, fantastic and fabulous your way. Guys, I hope that you're staying cool, relaxing, enjoying your dolls and just doing whatever it takes to make you happy. Enjoying life and living in the moment and counting your blessings. Life is so short. We don't have time for the shenanigans. We really, really don't. But I knew it was time for me to drop in. I think it's been like two weeks since my last um, video. And, you know, I am officially on summer break. Yesterday, Friday, June 28th was my last day of summer camp. So, today is Saturday, June 29th, and I am officially on summer break, and I am really ready for it. I really don't have but one month, you know, versus two months off of summer, because I always work summer camp, you know. I just, I always work summer school for the last, mm, I don't know how many years, because, you know, I'm just not in a financial situation where I can turn down a good, honest living it. I love my job, and summer camp was pretty good you know it was it was very peaceful common um, environment the kids seemed to be engaged and enjoying it and you know that's what it's all about so it was three weeks of um pretty awesome I must say I really enjoyed it so this is the official beginning of summer break and guys I have a whole lot of plans in mind well not a whole lot of plans but my one goal this month and I don't plan on being in my house working and cleaning and all of that this summer on my summer break. But I've been going through gradually. And if you guys follow me, you hear me talk about this. I've been going through gradually my items, my stuff, and finding stuff and realizing that I have too much stuff. Which is something I'm sure all of us at some point realize. I realized a long time ago that I really needed to pull back and make better choices about what I was purchasing because you end up with so much stuff that you think and when you purchase it what you're going to do with it and I'm a, I'm a procrastinator sometimes you know I have so many ideas for it and then I never do anything with it you know it's the same thing about everything else in my house you know I've been going through my everything in my home you know I'm trying to reduce clutter you know I don't want to be a pack rat but, you know, there are some things you just, I'm going to pack up and save. But, you know, I'm just trying to make my my load lighter. Um, I'm not, and I've decided I'm not going to punish and penalize myself. But I do put myself on a budget. I do try to set a spending limit. But what I'm trying to do and what I'm trying to tell myself all the time is make smarter purchases. You know, don't just buy it because it's on clearance. Don't just buy it because it's on sale. What is your plan for it? Are you going to get it and put it in a container and toss it away out of sight, out of mind? Um, or do you have a plan for it? So that's what I've been doing. And it's really been helping. You know, I really have been doing really great. Um, some of you guys reached out to me on Instagram and was telling me about the sales, the clearance sales you're finding in Walmart and in Target and different places in the Barbie one six scale rainbow high and stuff. And, you know, and I know it's there. <laughs> oh, I know it's there. And I don't know if I have the willpower to resist a good sale. I really, really, really don't. So, you know, I've just been trying to stay out of that area. I'm trying not to put myself in that position, if you know what I mean. But I do plan on going on me one little doll um, hobby retreat is what I'm going to call it this summer. You know, if it's not but one of them, you know, just pick a day to just hit all of my locations that I like but guys I do not do well in the heat um I just I just don't <laughs> I just don't so you know it's one of those days where I want to pick a day where it's early in the morning and it's not busy where I can you know be in and out in and out and um have a little fun and do what I do and I really enjoy doing it by myself it's just one of those things that I really enjoy doing by myself. So I do plan on getting one of those um, one of those little um, treat, retreats in. I'm going to call it a retreat where I go out on a little doll 
hunt, um, see what's out there. I'm sure you guys have heard about the recall with the Make It Mini. Um, I don't understand what the big recall is now because everybody always knew it was the resin in that stuff. I have not done any of my balls. I have opened some of them. You guys know I have bought this, bought some of the stuff. Um, I like to make it mini, but you know, it's not one of them things I'm crazy about because I know I'm not going to get all into it. A lot of the little miniature things that I can find really reasonable in Hobby Lobby, Michaels, and Timu, and AliExpress, you know, if I can already get it made, that's the way I'm going with it. But um, I do still like to have whatever is out in my collection, you know, because you guys know I send my hobbies like a timeline. I like to be able to look back and see what was out at the time. But... It seems to be an issue now with the resin, and now they have pulled them off the shelves. Um, we all know that when we're dealing with chemicals, we have to be cautious, we have to be careful. But I guess it wasn't enough precaution. I mean, I don't know, but if you didn't get your hands on any of them, then, you know, you probably won't. Um, like I said, I got several balls that I ordered... Um, a few months ago and I opened them just to see which ones that I got but I never did you know I never you know actually put them together um, I know from the beginning straight out the gate I can tell you froggy stuff she never used the resin you know she was against it from the beginning and she would always use the um oh my goodness it's right on the tip of my tongue you we use it all the time but she had an alternative for getting the results without using the resin so she never used it so you know the warning was always there but i guess if you're going to make it available and sell it in the stores people feel like it might be okay you know just like with the spray paint you know because we're always we as collectors are always customizing and doing little stuff we always have to remember that we have to protect our lungs and our breathing you know so even when i'm outside and i'm using when i'm outside because i definitely ain't going to do it on the inside but when I used the, um, the Super Clear when I was doing my Blythes and stuff, and even used the Super Clear sometimes on, on my um, Barbies, you know, to give them that matte finish on their skin um, and spray paints, I always mask up. I always mask up. We really need to invest in that because long term, over a period of time, you know, it can really mess you up. So that's that's the news about the make it minis so you know you won't be able to find them on amazon target or any of the stores because there's been a recall so i guess they're going to have to come back with a different um what a different way of getting it so i'm pretty sure they will and as still right here on the tip of my tongue i can still think of what the alternative is and i still can't it won't come to my my mouth it's in my mind i can't get it out but you guys know what I'm talking about. And I'm pretty sure all of you watch Froggy stuff, you know. She's like the number one channel out there. She's awesome. But what I've been doing, and I have, I'm not showing you everything I bought, but I'm just showing you my things I got going on right now. Um, if you guys haven't heard about the World Peacekeepers, you know, I don't know where you've been. <laughs> but the World Peacekeepers have been around for a very long time. Um, I like the World Peacekeepers. Um, now, I don't per se, the action figures that come with them, you know, they have some very um, appealing faces. The faces are very detailed, but, you know, I you know, I have a few of them in my collection, but I don't really, I have one, two that I, that I use, um, only one I really use in my, um, in my photo stories and in my doll Ramos. And I, I named, gave him the nickname Mr. Flirt because he was always in a scene somewhere flirting with someone, so... But he was very handsome and very realistic. But I have been having my eyes, keeping my eyes on this set right here that you guys have seen. Um, this is the Military Life, the Airborne Trooper. And this is the 1-6 scale. And it comes with so much stuff. And I want to say I got it on. It wasn't on sale because it very rarely, go, this set very rarely goes on sale. And it's in stock and out of stock. And it's been around for a while. And I know eventually it's going to completely be out of stock and then you're going to be subject to getting it from third party sellers and the price points is always ridiculous but these are different other different characters that you can get but this is the one that I have here and I've already unboxed it but I'm just showing you guys the box and then here is the um the back the other side of the box with the actual 
doll and all the things that come with it. I have the gem set that I got. You guys have seen the gem set in some of my photos if you follow me on Instagram. I didn't unbox it here on the channel, but I did share it um, in pictures, you know, the little gem. Then a little quick gem doll rama. But here's what it looks like out of the box. Um, all the stuff is made of a very um, hard, well-structured um, plastic material. And everything is always so well made and so detailed. And these lockers are very nice. Very nice, as you can see. And I'm not going to do all that, showing you all that with it. But it comes with a ton of accessories. Clothing and different things. Um, but I really like this a lot. And I, I wanted it mainly for the locker and the accessories. And um, this bed is really cool. But again, it's military life. And listen... My ex-husband was retired military, and I can tell you, because I've ordered other um, military characters, um, the details and all in the gear and the clothing is almost right on point with the actual actual um, things. Um, so I was, I was highly impressed with that. But here is the character. Like I said again, the face sculpt, the face is very nice. He's very handsome and very detailed. Um... A lot of people look at the sculpture of his head. His head looks just like a, a shaved bald head. Um, like in his eyes. You know, again, I, I think the dolls are very handsome. Now, a lot of the articulation is awesome. It's more articulation here than it is, I think, in the um, made-to-move body. But, you know, it's not a very appealing, attractive body when it's not clothed. You know, if they don't have on clothes, you know, they can, you know, it's not too appealing. Um, someone once described it as a robot-like body, but this is what the body looks like. And um, I don't usually use them, that, but I don't get rid of them because I know that I'm going to want to keep them. It comes with this really cool guitar, and I really like the guitar. Like I said, it comes with a lot of cool accessories. And I purchased it from Amazon. And I think you can go directly to their site and purchase these things. Um, but the bed, again, it looks like an actual metal. It looks like metal, but it's not. It's actual plastic. Comes with these two little, um, flat, you know, the grip match. It's supposed to be a mattress. But, as you can see, again, true, true to one six scale. Very nicely done. And I finally just went on and got it. I had been... I had had it on my watch list for a very long time, like I did with the gym equipment. The gym, the gym set went on sale, and that's when I purchased that. But I have not yet been able to get the um, get the military life one on sale. But here we are. I wanted to show you guys this too. I'm just ramming it on, sharing with you guys some of the things that I've been picking up, and um, how good I have been with shopping but this is the Steffi Love um, brand um, been around for a bit um, I don't call myself a Steffi Love collector though anytime I see the beautiful chocolate skin one I have to get her um, because I just love that face sculpt most of the other face sculpts look cartoony and you know even though hers might be cartoony it's still something sweet and angelic about it and, you know, they're very hard to find for me. So whenever I see um, a very uh, chocolate skin, I always get her. And this is the ballerina. So I only have like maybe four of them in my collection. And then here on the back of the box, they always have the um, Caucasian version on the packaging. You know, I think that's very odd because most of the time the work, the artwork um, and information on the box usually matches the doll. But... Loving that little rabbit there. Isn't that adorable? But I got this set on clearance in my local roses. I want to say I think it was on clearance for $10. I want to say it was $10. But I probably won't unbox her. Because again, like I said, I really like this doll line. I, lo I love, again, the chocolate skin. I love her face. I, I looked up and found... um. The family, they got the family, the mom, the dad, and the two kids in my um, local Ollie's a few years ago. And um, when I tried to pull it up on 
that said on Amazon the price was ridiculous. Because once again, it seems like they're just it's just an item that you don't run across and see too often. So, you know, it's just one of those things. But, as you can see, I do have um, my mermaids here in the back. Um, I finally got the pink hair girl. Um, Amazon finally got her in stock again. And I was able to um, order her. And she she was delivered like weeks before she was supposed to be available. I do not know if I'm going to rebody them. You know, right now for me, like I said, with rebodying dolls, if they're not going to be a character in the miniverse and get a storyline and be used as a character in my um, doll Rama stories and stuff, then I probably don't rebody them. I don't know what the future may hold for them. I love collecting the mermaids. I love them being mermaids. So um, right now I do not have um a plan to rebody them we just love that fate that odell face sculpt i just love it so i now have them together and then you can see them together side by side yes so they're finally together i didn't get the whole set there's four dolls in there now i do have two of each of them um like I said, because I know that eventually they're going to sell out. And it doesn't seem like it's going to be a lot of them. A large quantity of them. What did I do with the packaging? So I can show you guys all dolls. Okay, so here is what the collection looks like. You got all four. This is all four of them. My local Walmart fin finally got her in stock. But I'm told this one is not going to be available in any store. That the only way you'll be able to get her is if you get her from Amazon or from uh, overseas or whatever. But all four are beautiful. And if by some chance I run across them all in the store, you know, the other two, I might get them as well. But guys, I have been shopping for Essence. Um, I have been just enjoying my smart doll so much, guys. I have just been so in love with Essence. Essence has been um, not the only my primary focus, but I have just been loving this doll. And again, every time I come in my doll room, and you know, this is where she's sitting here on my desk. Every time I come in the doll room, I'm just still amazed at how big this doll is. You know, she is 24 inches tall, but she is, she's just amazing. You know, and every time I come in, it's no matter where I turn her head, it seems like she's always just looking at me, you know, just daising at me. <laughs> but I've been having a little fun looking for things, um, and I was going to wait till all of it came, and then I said, then that's just going to be way down the road. But I wanted to show you guys some of the stuff that I have found on AliExpress. And, you know, I showed you guys the big box of shoes that I bought. Um, the big bundle of shoes, not box, but the big bundle of shoes that I got and how well made the shoes were. And they were such a, an affordable price. I don't want to say cheap because when, sometimes when you say cheap, you know, it makes seems like it's cheap, like not good quality, but very affordable prices, like less than $5 per shoe. And um, when you get them, they are so nicely made. Like she's wearing the sneakers now that I got. She's got her high chuck um, style, her high chuck. Her high top chucks on with her um with her adorable jeggings that I got from Elite Doll World. You know, Elite Doll World, she is awesome when it comes to the doll clothes. You know, guys, I told you she's she makes them for the smart dolls, she makes them for the um 18 inch American girl dolls, and she does also one six scale. And I'm telling you, she is simply amazing. But I ordered these t-shirts, and there are so many different sellers on AliExpress that sell these clothes. Um, but because Essence is a pear-shaped doll, you gotta, you know, everything is probably not gonna fit. So you're gonna be taking a chance when you order it because it's made for the BJDs. Um, I search 60 centimeters, one-third um, doll clothes and accessories, and you know, all kinds of stuff pops up. But you gotta kinda look at the measurement because, you know, sometimes you're gonna get it and it's not gonna be um, it might not fit. So I ordered one of these shirts. She, she's wearing one of these t-shirts and, um, it's a tight fit, you know, it's a fitted t-shirt 
and um, it's and it fits her very well. And they Velcro in the back, you know, they Velcro all the way up in the back, and I really like that. And again, they are so nicely made, and I can't remember if these shirts were five dollars. I can't remember, but they're very nice. I got another one with the um with the design on the front, slow motion balances everything. I like that. That is so cute. And then I got the plain white, you know. And then I decided to order this hoodie because um, I wanted to see the fit. And it fits her perfectly. I mean, it's not tight. It's fit. It fits as if it was designed for her. Now, you can purchase this hoodie on Amazon. And I think Amazon has it for like 13 It's double the price on Amazon. And it's the exact same hoodie. Guys, the exact same hoodie. It's made the same it's the same it's the same design it comes in the same colors you know so i ordered the gray because i am this is my favorite color to wear so i purchased this one first but i'm definitely going to order um every color of this hoodie for essence because you know that's going to be her style the comfy relaxed you know this is nice um really like that and then come here essence come closer so the people can see you girl all right because i know i got my barbie light on and i'm not sure how that's working if that's bothering y'all's eyes but isn't essence just gorgeous she is all right so let me remove her camera from around her neck so i can show you guys now i ordered her this sweater i ordered this sweater this sweater was also um bjd 60 centimeters um i can't remember how much i paid for this sweater but again the prices are so reasonable and the quality is amazing you have the snaps in the front and it gives you the appearance of buttons as you can see but they're actually snaps and you snap it open and i love this rose color pink and again, like I said, I love the style and the design of it. I love this sweater. And again, it just fits her so wonderfully. So I only ordered one. But then once I got it and I saw how nicely it fits her, I decided to go back and order a couple of more colors. And again, I can't remember the price point. I can't remember the price point. Yes, I can't. But guys, yes, I have given her some some jewelry she's wearing a little ring and her little gold bracelet and again just loving everything about essence we are still having fun over here i want to take her outside and do some photos but you know what it's just been so hot and you know i'm just gonna have to go out early in the morning like now before it gets hot because i want to get some really cool photos of her but here's her little sneakers you know i showed you guys the shoes but I hadn't shown you how they look on her foot. They fit perfectly. All the little things that I have purchased her work really great. But see, because Essence is a pear-shaped doll, you don't really... Um, I ordered a pair of jeans, okay? So I hope they come next week sometime. Um, the jeans, i seen someone um, do a review of those jeans, and they have the regular smart doll. Now, on the regular smart doll, they're really loose. So, I don't know her I I know they're they that the pair is a lot thicker and built different, but where the jeans were loose on the regular body, the regular the classic smart doll body, um I'm thinking I might can make it work for her. And then if the jeans don't fit her, it is not going to go to waste because it is my plan to order a classic body um smart doll so the jeans won't go to waste but um i'm the jeans are so well made and when i get them guys just like these i'm going to show you guys um everything that um that i got i didn't you guys saw her in the dress though but i ordered this from elite doll world and again guys you just get to see how nicely these things are made they're actually miniature clothes you know, their actual clothes, their miniature size. This is a miniature size dress, you know. <laughs> I mean, it is just so cool. And then you see my girls sitting over here on the couch. I finally decided to unbox um, 
my Little Mermaid and my um, Tinkerbell. Um, I, I finally decided to take them out of the box. I have two of them because the price was so reasonable. I did order them when they first dropped. You know, I didn't wait for them to go on sale because you never know what's going to sell out and what's not. But I did order these two um, when they were regular price when they first released. But then we had such a great sale on them. I think I got them for like less than $9 a piece when I ordered the second one. So I ordered another one to keep in box and one to unbox. And as you can see, they're sitting on the pink couch. And um, they're just so lovely. They were on the castle, but then I thought I'd bring them over here and let you guys see that I had unboxed them. And that um, they're chilling in the mini birth. And, you know, I'm just, I'm just having fun, enjoying my dolls, and, you know, doing me. <laughs> so, I have been going through my stuff, and I have been um, organizing things and getting things together. And guys realizing that I have too much stuff. So, that's what um, I'm trying to do better in that sense where I don't get overwhelmed. Um, buying my smart doll and making that big purchase has really put me in a good good mindset because you know it gives me something new to focus on but I'm still focusing on my Barbies you know still focusing on my Barbies still enjoying my Barbies I mean I am surrounded in this room with Barbies <laughs> but um I just wanted to drop in and say hi and touch base and show you guys what I've been up to and you know let you guys know that I'm not gone I'm not gone anywhere um, I would love to hear from you guys in the comments about what you're doing and what you got going on in your um, mini verse over there and what you got going on in the doll world and what are you collecting and, you know, how's it going for you. So in the meantime, in between time, we're going to call this video um, done <laughs> and we're going to um, check out. But you guys know the drill. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. Don't forget to check us out on Instagram. We are Ruby Red's World of Dolls there. Continue being awesome, fantastic, and fabulous. And I will see you awesome, amazing people in my next video.